Welcome back. Um, haven't done one of these for a little while, but anyways, I'm here. I uh, went for a run on Monday, Monday a long run. Shoes got soaked because it was nice and wet, which is really enjoyable actually. Uh, can you remember when before mobile phones and the internet and things well, the internet was still here and mobile phones, I guess, but remember when you always used to have newspapers at your home? So when your shoes got wet, your football boots, things like that, you used to stuff them with newspaper? Now they expect us to pay a digital subscription. You still don't even get a fucking newspaper. How am I supposed to get my shoes dry then? Uh, so I'm gonna buy a couple of newspapers, purely for the fact I can stuff my shoes with them. Anyways, a uh, little 30 minute steady state and then we're gonna jump into the ice bath. So I've got a little bit of an ice bath, ice bath hack. Ice bath hack? Uh, I've got a little ice bath hack. Uh, then I'm gonna give a run and hopefully that helps us get the temperature down to a little bit less than 12 degrees. So we'll see how we go. Oh. This guy, let's see what we've bought. The delivery guy literally knows Jess and I, first name basis. <laughs> this one's for Jess. Natural good life. So just a little cruisy run today. We'll do some leg swings. Um, we'll have a bit of a chat. Uh, got my 20 week training program through from Braveheart yesterday. Um, and I had a quick look at that and really impressed. Um, mixes in a fair bit of training, which is good. Uh, it's gonna help me for my triathlon as well. Help me build some swimming in there. Um, just create some structure, I guess. Uh, so yeah, so really good. Uh, there's a bit of an injury prevention program that's gonna, it's all stuff that I know, but it's written down there. It's, given to me so I don't have to think about it and we'll do that before some gym sessions as well so yeah cool uh, but ice bath hacks so I don't know if anybody's got one of these portable ice baths but on the east coast of Australia in December January very very difficult to um, to get them down to temperature uh, funny story I actually done a whole YouTube video <laughs> on this uh probably two weeks ago uh and scheduled it to uh publish while i was away at work last week and it didn't publish and i was like mm. um, when i went and had a look and watched the video for some reason all the editing had jumped around and it was terrible so kind of pleased it didn't schedule and publish because it was i don't know why it done that but uh, so we'll give it another go today. Not the best road uh, to run on for the first, first and last kilometer back to my neighborhood. Uh, but it is what it is. It's pretty good after that. So. Actually reminds me of the back roads of the Lake District where I used to live, so I'm gonna say Lake District. West Cumbria Mara. <clears throat> uh, some rough maths. 20 weeks before the start line of my first marathon. This is the 12th of February. Today is the 10th of January. So say 24 weeks. 24 weeks isn't really a long time. Uh, so yeah, shit's about to get real. Um, we've just just need to put that structure in that I've got now and 
trust the process, I guess. Uh, there's times when I'm training, I feel like I'm not doing enough. So maybe only doing 5Ks and instead of maybe seven or eight. Uh, only doing steady state or more steady state than speed or tempo. Um, so yeah, just trust the process, follow the program and I'm sure it'll get me there, 100%, so yeah, pretty keen actually holidays are over I've got um, one event next week with um, with John Barnes ex-Liverpool, Watford, England uh, so I've got a night in Brizzy for that um, start first week of night shift starts tomorrow in over 12 months so there's a few factors that should um, should come into play so same again try not to beat myself up too much next days off but keep the body moving um, so ice bath recovery I spoke about this in my um, failed video uh, so I also use a whoop um, I've used that for well over three years now um, and it's one of the first things I check in the morning uh, my heart rate variant um, see what my recovery score was how I slept <clears throat> as you can see here Last week was pretty average, uh, but one thing I did do well last week was eat and drink <laughs> well. <laughs> um, didn't do a great deal of training, so probably the last couple of weeks it's definitely been a bit off compared to where I normally sit, even without the structure of a training plan. Um, so yeah, the, um, the routine will be good. Our friends from Melbourne had a great time, they went home. So yeah, back to it. Uh, I was talking about nutrition as well. I uh, really want to dial in on there. I'm not too far away, just portion control and the timing of when I eat. I guess um, and what so I might eat some good veggies but are they the right veggies is it the right time things like that so so yeah so just here you have the two faces of Colin Noble we have a homemade kegerator for all of your alcoholic needs and we have a spare freezer here for the ice bath hack you never knew you needed. So what we've got here is we've got a whole stack load of takeaway containers from Coles or Woolies. Uh, I've still got the ice trays that come with the ice bath and had a spare two litre ice, uh, old Tupperware container, they're filled with water as well. So there's 23 takeaway containers with about 600 ml of water in each. So there's a fair bit of ice. So let's go and have a look at the ice bath. Uh, so some of you might have seen in my Insta stories, I've got a recover ice bath for Christmas uh, from Jess and the kids. Uh, I used it a few times, found it really good. Um, even though I didn't get the temperature down to as cold as what some people have it, um, it was still pretty refreshing to get in there. So, uh, so this water is two days old. So I used this on Monday. Um, it's currently 8.30 in the morning and this water is 28 degrees, so. Queenslander. Uh, so we'll throw the ice in there, we'll see what we get it down to and we'll jump in. Uh, so there's a lot of ice there. Uh, let's get them in here, just for reference. 28, 20, 
27. We'll call it 27. Time to go in. Uh, so there's a lot of ice there. Uh, let's get them in here. Just for reference. 28, 20, 27. We'll call it 27. Time to go in. 22. 22. That's what 22 takeaway containers of ice looks like. Now we'll put these in. The big fella. Might have to do first in there, that one. So they worked really well coming out. Apart from one, I got a bit heavy handed and broke. I can use them again. getting there. Uh, so not quite the impact I <laughs> hoped it would have had. Um, it's, it's probably just the same as three bags of ice but it's a fair bit cheaper. Um, so I got it down to 18 degrees. It's still going down as the ice melts but difficult difficult in this weather to get it down to temp uh, but it's nice and cool it's refreshing um, may not have all the um, scientific um, benefits but it's good enough a little bit of a plunge and then we'll get out <sighs> That'll do. When I was 17, I wanted 7 inches. At 28, I realized 5 inches was better. Now at 39, I've realized 3 inches fits perfect. Thanks to Aid Station and Aussie.